it was a night that opened up new frontiers in medicine, depicted here in lifelike detail at the heart of Cape Town Museum. On the 3rd of December 1967, local cardiac surgeon Chris Barnard gave a healthy heart to a dying man. The patient survived 18 days before succumbing to pneumonia. But for medicine, it was a turning point for Barnard too. What happened that night in this room catapulted Chris Barnard to international fame. And one nurse was desperate for a little memento. Renee Bates was a young nursing student at the hospital. And while Barnard enjoyed the headlines, she and a friend helped themselves to his boots. She's now finally returned them. I know that if I, had, if I had tried to auction them in the United States or anywhere else in the world, I would have probably got a lot of money for it. But that wasn't the intention. It was really just a naughty prank of a teenager. I, would, I had absolutely no idea there would be such a fuss about bringing the boots back. <laughs> the museum is certainly glad to have the boots back. Officials say there's been a sudden increase in visitors and say that shows the abiding fascination for Chris Barnard, 12 years after his death. At that point, everything of Chris Barnard was, was, you know, was, a, was a wonderful momentum to have. I mean, and that's why they are obviously why they took the boots. Um, and he was, so, he was so famous at that point in time. It was, I know that some of the people, some of the, the, the patients still have chocolates which he gave them, you know. So they, they kept everything that, that, that he touched or, or you know, where, which, which belonged to him. The boots may look a little ragged now, but the man who once wore them remains a star. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.